unfolded in Spielberg and the drivers looked for long run pace. The heat started to rise and the wind started to get up. And very soon strange things happened to some of the leading lights. Valtteri Bottas back on his spec 2 power pace and led the timings at the halfway point. But his luck ran out as he lost control out of turn 6, hitting the barriers hard. The Finn wasn't the only victim. Red Bull's Max Verstappen was unhappy with the windy conditions from the outset. It feels super windy on the straights. I'm literally moved going left to right. He soon brought the session to an abrupt end at turn 10, spinning and hitting the barrier. Both Bottas and Verstappen's incidents brought out red flags, and Ferrari almost made it a hat-trick of heavy crashes for the leading teams, as Turn 10 almost claimed Sebastian Vettel. But the four-time world champion just managed to pull up short of the barriers. Verstappen's teammate Pierre Gasly also went for a wander in the hills, taking on gravel, tarmac and then grass on his journey back to the circuit. Not even Lewis Hamilton was immune from the madness. He went wide at turn 10, but came out relatively unscathed. Lance Stroll was less fortunate. The Canadian had his wing clipped in the morning practice session and did it again in FP2, leaving chunks of his front wing at turn 10. Whilst his teammate hit the gravel, Charles Leclerc looked to impose himself, setting a 1 minute 5.086 on soft tyres to leave the timings. He had a close shave with Antonio Giovinazzi late on, just to prove no one was safe from near calamity in this session. McLaren continued to raise eyebrows. Carlos Sainz was impressive all afternoon, ending the session in fifth fastest, despite going off track at turn six. So it's Leclerc in P1, with Valtteri Bottas and Pierre Gasly second and third, despite their off-track moments. Lewis Hamilton tucks in behind them in fourth. Romain Grosjean was best of the Haas drivers in sixth, ahead of Kimi Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen. Further back, Renault's Nico Hülkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo had what could only be described as wobbly rear wings. It's unclear if it had an effect on their speed. They finished P16 and P17, a big drop on their FP1 positions. They were behind both Toro Rossos, but ahead of the Williams pair of Robert Kubica and George Russell.